Hello everybody. Let me just give you a quick update on the previous project. So, what we have here is a trusty Gen 2 Prius inverter. We have here a Renault Tweezy motor with a KDI 84 temperature probe and a Quattro encoder. And as you can see, the motor spins away happily at 1000 rpm as commanded by the idle speed controller. So, causing all this magic is our new Toyota Prius controller and connects to the power stage using a small 12 pin connector and it goes in to the inverter over this 32 pin connector. So, we're not using all pins actually, we're just using. Um, MG2, which is the stronger one of the two inverters. Uh, we will be using the bug boost converter for charging the batteries. And MG1 inverter will just be used for rectifying mains voltage. Yes, so otherwise um, here we have the usual wiring. I've in, uh, reduced the I.O. count. So I can make do with a 20 pin connector. Yeah, so in this case we're using uh, the Quattro encoder input. And I'm just feeding it 12 volts from my power supply here. You can see logic takes about 100 milliamps and uh, the, like the gate drivers from the previous inverter take about 1.2 amps. Yes, so uh, this board pretty much, uh, or this board, yeah, it does come with the latest revision hardware. So we have resolver excitation on there for synchronous motors. Um, I have upgraded the digital outputs, like instead of eight digital outputs, no, six, there's now just two, but they run via those two beefy MOSFETs, so you can directly run even bigger contactors on them for pre-charge and main DC contactor. Then here we have a CAN transceiver and we have a, an op amp that scales down the bipolar currents that come from the power stage to 3.3 volts and as usual Wi-Fi module. Yes, other news um, I'm using a smaller 5 volt converter now. Mm. And I'm also not using the boost converter for the resolver stage because I can use the two channels um, in bridge mode, which means we can generate like 9 volts peak to peak from just 5 volts power supply. More simplification. Yes, that's it for now. I got my new Corona haircut today, pretty much all gone. So um, I will be selling these boards pretty soon on the webshop. Uh, only issue being uh, that I got them populated the JLC PCB and they twisted the STM32 processor by 90 degrees. So of all parts that could go wrong, they twisted the most complicated one too. Turn back. Yeah, anyway, so bear with me. It's gonna take uh, another week or two until I get this fixed, get the stuff in the webshop. That's it for now. Talk to you later. Bye bye.